The semicircle above has a radius of r inches, and chord CD is parallel to the diameter AB. If the length of CD is two-thirds the length of AB, what is the distance between the chord and the diameter in terms of r? So r is the radius of the semicircle, so that's going to be this piece. CD is two-thirds of this length AB, which means that this distance right here is going to be two-thirds r. And we want to find the distance between the chord and the diameter. Well, this is what we're looking for. We'll call this D. Notice I know this in terms of r. It's two-thirds r. If I go ahead and connect these two points, this is just a radius of the circle, r. So I can set up Pythagorean theorem. D squared plus two-thirds r squared equals r squared, and then solve for D. Because if you look at the choices, notice they're all in terms of pi. Sorry, they're all in terms of r. So we don't need to actually have a number here. We just need to get this in terms of r. You could, in theory, plug in a radius and solve it that way, but I think it's actually a little bit harder than it needs to be. So uh, d squared plus 2 thirds r squared equals r squared. So d squared plus, don't forget to apply the squared to the fraction. We get 4 ninths r equals r squared. Subtract 4 ninths r squared from both sides, we get 5 ninths r squared. Square root everything so that we can get d. d is equal to the square root of 5 over, square root of 9 is 3, r. And that would be choice d. On second thought, plugging in might not be too bad. You just got to pick an r, right? So pick r is, I don't know, 9, which means this would be 9, this would be 6, and then you can solve for d. I guess, yeah, and then you can plug in 9 into your choices and see which one of those matches what you got for D. So it's not too bad, but either way, you should know how to do it both ways, plugging in and algebraically. The new SAT will not be doing as much plane geometry as it did in the previous version. So when we see questions, I expect we'll see them as pretty hard ones. And this is pretty difficult. So you have to be able to find the lengths of these pieces, uh, draw in the segments and what they represent, and then do a little Pythagorean to solve. So definitely a tricky question. Plugging in doesn't really make it much easier. You still got to make the same moves. Uh, so pretty hard question. And I think that's where we're going to see the plane geometry questions go. Since they'll be rare, I think they're going to make them worth your while. In other words, they're going to make them pretty hard uh, when they include them on their test.